What is up everybody, it's Cobes here and today I'm back with a Fortnite video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the worst skins by letter. We've already done the best skins by letter and you guys seem to have enjoyed that. If you wanna check that out, I'll try to link it in the description if I remember, which I probably won't. But tell me what your least favorite skin is in this game at this time. If I had to pick one, honestly at this time it would probably be Tomato Head, so that's obviously making the list, and maybe Rex. So, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, and I will be streaming later if you guys want to go check that out. Make sure to turn on your notifications so you do not miss that, guys. Let's get into this list. This is going to be a fucking funny one, I think. These skins are horrible. Starting off with A, of course, I think. We could have given it to Assault Trooper, which was my second choice, but overall, I think Abstract definitely deserves this spot. This is one of my least favorite skins in this game. I would put it in top five for least favorite easily. I hate his backling and I hate his skin design. It just doesn't really work out in game. I don't really understand why either. He's either too thick. Well, is that even, yeah. Hey, I actually kind of like this guy. But moving on to B, we have the Bright Gunner. And there were tons of skins with the letter B that started with the letter B. But I think the Bright Gunner honestly deserves it. I hate this skin design. I do like his backling, so at least he's a little bit better in that aspect compared to Abstract, who I think has one of the worst skin designs and backling in this game. So the Bright Gunner, if you want to get him just for his backling, and then you have the Bright Bomber as well, so you can use it with her, I would suggest doing that. But if you don't, do not get this skin, guys. Moving on to C, we have Cypher. And this was a tough one. There were a bunch of good skins that started with C. We have like Crimson Scout, um, Cuddle Team Leader, which I actually am starting to enjoy a little bit more. Then a few other ones that I just can't remember right now. But I think Cypher is a decent skin. It's kind of weird how this worked out. Every skin with the letter C, I did like, but this was just the worst out of the best. Moving on to D, we have the Dynamic Dribbler. And this one just recently came out. If you're gonna buy a soccer skin, I would not suggest getting this one. Maybe get, um, I, oh, I can't remember her name, like the Mexican girl or the midfield maestro. So if you wanna tell me what that girl's name is, please do it in the comment section, I can't remember it. But the Dynamic Dribbler, one of my least favorite out of, on this list, out of this list. I think you could definitely go for something else that's a lot better. Moving on to E, we have the Elite Agent, which I'm not really gonna go over too much. This is the only skin that starts with the letter E, and it was in my best skins list. And this is one of my favorite Battle Pass skins. I would put it at number two. So right now, the Elite Agent, you know it's there. It's looking, it's looking pretty bad, but I honestly really like the design. So I, I had to put it in, guys. At the letter F, we have Flytrap. And for me, this is another legendary skin that I am just not feeling. We did get a really good one in Omen. If you guys want to go buy that, I would totally su suggest doing it. Flytrap also doesn't have a backling. I just don't really think his design fits in Fortnite. It looks a little bit too off. I do like that they at least tried something new, but they just failed in this regard. Moving on to G, we have the Ginger Gunner. And for me, the Ginger Gunner is decent. I'll give her that. She's decent, but there were a few other skins. I can't remember every single skin in this game. Um, especially what letter do they start with but there were a few other skins that started with G that were just slightly better than the ginger gunner and I think she deserves this spot on this list for the worst skins by letter moving on to H we have the hazard agent and this was a tough one I really do hate the hazard agent but there were a few skins that possibly could have beaten it out but I think overall, Hazard Agent and Toxic Trooper are some of my least favorite skins. And the only way they're going to be beat out if there is if there is a worse skin out there, which for Toxic Trooper, you know Tomato Head's in his place. Moving on to I, we have Infiltrator. And for me, I do like Infiltrator. I can't really give him any shit. He was on my best list. And like just because he was the only letter that starts with I doesn't mean he's necessarily a bad or a good skin. But for me, I do like him. He was definitely deserving of the best skins, probably not really deserving on this list. Moving on to J, we have the Jungle Scout, which again, this is a skin I do like. I'll just be completely honest with you guys. I do like this skin. It's pretty simple. 
It's an uncommon skin. Do I like it more than Jump Shot? I would probably say no. I like Jump Shot a little bit more. So that's why Jungle Scout's here. Not really a terrible skin, but not beating Jump Shot for sure. We have K, which is nothing. There's nothing for K this time around. Moving on to L, we have Leviathan. And Leviathan for me, he, he's a little bit higher tier of a legendary skin. I don't think he's like the highest tier. I would probably put Raven, Red Knight, Power Cord, Omen even, even though he's just been added. Probably Black Knight, Omega, before I'd put Leviathan in that top tier list. So he's a little bit higher than mid tier, but um, he's pretty close to mid tier, I would say. Moving on to M, we have Mission Specialist. And do I really even need to sit here and explain this one? Mission Specialist, I'm going to anyways. Mission Specialist, one of the most boring and basic skins in this game. It was not really used too often, honestly. In the very start of season, um, season three, it was used, I would say, a decent amount. But once people got those next tier skins, you barely saw them. Once people got Rust Lord, they would use him all day long. And then it took a little bit longer longer to get i think moonwalker was next so honestly i didn't really see too much emission specialist so i can't hate him in that regard but i just don't really like the design at all i'm really excited for season five guys season five comes out in like 22 days or something maybe 23 days that's absolutely nuts it seems like season four just started like a couple days ago maybe it's because i keep updating over and over again that you kind of lose track of time. You lose track of when a new season is coming out. I honestly have no idea what they'll do for this next season. Do you guys have any predictions? I think I'll make a video on it just because I'm super excited and I can't wait for it. Moving on to N, we have Nogops. And I'm not going to sit here and explain this one because it's a, it's a good skin. It's the only skin that starts with N. I'm pretty sure if I missed out on any skin that started with N, I'd probably put it in place of Nogops. Moving on to O, we have Omega, and again, this one, you know, it's just another good skin, but the only skin that starts with the letter O. Moving on to P, we have Poise Playmaker, and for me, it was either this one, which I actually do like, I do like Poise Playmaker, and I think you should get at least one soccer skin. Well, you can't anymore, but I think you should have at the very least. And then Power Cord. So which one really wins out? I think Power Cord easily wins out. You could easily get another soccer skin. Um, just throw out Poise Playmaker, get like the blonde chick or the one guy um, midfield Mastro. And that's the only name I really remember from that, honestly. Moving on to Q, we have nothing. Moving on to R, we have the Rex. And as you guys know, I, I would say this is my least favorite legendary inside this game. One of my least favorite skins. I still don't like it. I still don't like looking at it. I don't like using it. I don't really care. I don't care how how much time has passed. I don't know if I'll ever like this. I, I hope I do. I hope one day I can come to you guys and say, you know what, the Rex, he's actually looking good. You know, I like this skin design. I actually don't hate the skin design necessarily, but it's that and the combination of the color that really get to me. And I, I don't know exactly why I dislike him so much, but it's the skin design and the color that just don't go well together. If he was like the same color as Triceratops, I think he could be a decent skin. So maybe we can customize that skin in the future. I'd love to see it. Moving on to the letter S, we have Steel Sight. And this is another pretty obvious one. I think R through T, so RST, are all some of my least favorite skins in this game. They're all in my top five for least favorite. So Steel Sight, pretty bad backlink doesn't really play too big of a factor in this honestly her skin design is just not for me i would rather get something else moving on to t we have tomato head and yeah guys what do i really have to say it's a good meme it's a good meme skin i see all these channels that basically upload meme fortnite shit that use this skin they love it i think it's because it's so terrible i don't really know exactly moving on to you we have nothing there moving on to um v we have the visitor man guys i'm sorry to do it to you um honestly i can't remember what skin it was i'm gonna look it up real quick but the visitor i'm um, sorry for the clicks in the background as well but the visitor all in all does he does he look that great i think there are some better skins out there that you could definitely um pick 
Oh yeah, another one with V, Valor. So Valor beats out the Visitor in my opinion. The Visitor, his backlane is cool, but I think I'm a little disappointed. At first, when I made the video, I was so happy to finally get him because I, I spent like four or five hours grinding the challenges to get him. But then once I got him, I was like, yes, finally, this guy looks so cool. But now, yeah, it's all right. The customization's decent, but you can't see it in game when you're using it, which kind of pisses me off a little bit, but all in all, cool back bling, decent design, just a little bit disappointing. Moving on to W, we have Wingman, and I think this is the only one that starts with W, so decent skin overall. Moving on to X, we have nothing there. Y, we have Yuletide Ranger, and this one definitely doesn't deserve this spot. I like this skin. Moving on to Z, our final one, we have Zoe, the only one that starts with the Z. So overall, I think um, this was a pretty fun list, honestly. There weren't a ton of like terrible skins. There were some pretty bad ones. I'll name off, if I had to name off a quick top 10, not in any order. Abstract, Bright Gunner, um, Flytrap, Hazard Agent, Mission Specialist, Rex, Steel Sight, Tomato Head, and um, yeah, I think that's all really. That's all I can give it to. I can't give it to anyone else. So I think that's like top eight. That's my top eight. There are some bad skins that have the same letter as some of these other skins as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.